Hello and welcome to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we are looking at the Rick and Morty Portal STL. But first, roll those credits. Okay, welcome back. So, um, so first of all, we're going to do a quick 360 of this model before hopefully it smashes. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I don't know if you can see how precarious parts of this model are. So the model just attaches by like this one stalk in the middle and oh, it's, so, it's so precarious. This for some reason was a really difficult model to print. Um, it prints in parts, but for some reason every part that printed just did not come out how I wanted it to. It's an intensely frustrating thing to try and get this to go together because most of it didn't. This was um, actually a, a statue um, that was being sold retail and uh, my private commission group uh, decided that they wanted to get a uh, they wanted to get a copy of it made. We did. Again, the artist just really wasn't expecting to like he, he doesn't know how 3d printing works he did a really fantastic job modeling it but the practicalities of how this go together are just objectively poor so why he decided to put this on a stalk and not just key it directly to the base i don't know and um, none of the keys in any of the arms or in the bug actually fit together properly so you have to cut those off sand them back and then try to glue them together but the glue then expands in that joint and it pulls the parts apart the paint job was relatively easy because obviously rick and morty is relatively flat in its colorings so you've not got to try and make it look like real flesh because it's not and if you did try to make it look like that it would look weird the model is really good so as you can see we've got the plumbus we've got a mr meeseeks box and bottles the, the you know there's a lot of elements to this and it's sort of a real 360 model so as you turn it around you get one of the bugs that um that run the galactic imperial whatever it is it's a really good model i like the way it's, it's a really cool model as i say it's just it just wasn't particularly well executed the portal looks really cool um i like the way that came out it looks quite swirly and everything it's just yeah it's just not necessarily my favorite model to print it was a real it was a real struggle to get this to come out properly a lot of really complicated angles that required a lot of extra supports um, i had to do manual supports for 90 percent of this and that wasn't ideal either now that i'm back in cura rather than simplify 3d i would like to see how this would turn out with tree supports instead because I think it would come out quite considerably cleaner, but I'm not printing it again. So, <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll just figure it out on a different Rick and Morty model. But yeah, hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so that you can get notified whenever we have new content out. Thanks very much for joining us, guys. See you soon.